Okay, this is problem 125. We have a force diagram here. Uh, there's two forces, a 10-pound force in the horizontal direction and a 10-pound force at 60 degrees with respect to the negative x-axis. And they're applied to an object. And what we'd like to do is to find a third force that will produce a zero resultant. So um, the idea is to, um, in overview, first of all, sum these two vectors. And then the vector that's going to make um, the third vector that will sum to zero will be the negative of the sum of these two vectors here. So um, let's do a graphical solution first, and then I'll do a, an analytic solution. So to redraw the, the two vectors, I, we have a 10-pound vector in this direction. I'm going to call that A, and a 10-pound vector in this direction. Call that B. It's also 10 pounds. I won't label this one. And basically, I want to find uh, the sum of A and B. And so um, I could do that either by bringing A up here and going tip to tail or bring, bringing B over here and going tip to tail. So let me bring A up, redraw A up here, parallel to itself. And here's A. And A plus B will then be this vector. This will be the vector A plus B. And uh, if I call that vector C, the vector that I want is minus C, which is the vector that is anti-parallel to C. Okay, so this is the solution to the problem. And I claim that A plus B plus minus C is equal to zero because A plus B plus minus C is the same as A plus B plus <coughs> minus A plus B, which is A plus B minus a minus b, which is equal to 0. So now let's do a, an analytic solution. And the easiest way for me to do this is by component. So if I look at the a vector here, so just to relabel things, this is a and this is b. And I write everything in terms of components. The x component of a is 10 pounds. The y component of a is zero pounds. The um, x component of B is all right. So what I want to do here is I want to find this vector right here. That's going to be the x component of B. This is going to be the y component of B. And this vector right here, this length right here, is uh, cosine function is going to give me that, and it's in the second quadrant, so it's going to be negative cosine 60 pounds. Cosine of 60 is 1 half, so that's going to be minus 5 pounds. The y component of B is sine 60, and again, that's going to be uh, in the second quadrant, but for, for the y, it's going to be a positive. It's going to be 10 times the sine of 60 pounds. Sine of 60 is 0.866, so 10 times that is 8.66. I'm just going to use one decimal point, 8.7 pounds. And so the vector that I want um, is going to be minus c. So let's figure out what c is first. c is a plus b. So the x component of C, let me write this over here, C is equal to A plus B, using that same vector that we did in the graphical solution. So C sub x is going to be the sum of this and that. 10 pounds minus 5 pounds is 5 pounds. And C sub y is going to be the sum of this and this, 8.7 pounds. And so the solution vector. Let me call that S. 
that's going to have an x component which is negative 5 pounds and it's going to have a y component that is negative 8.7 pounds <clears throat> and so um, this is exact this is approximate uh, and so if I put this exact solution up here that's s of x that's 5 pounds it's pointing in a negative direction corresponding with that and this is s, this is s sub y Again, pointing in a negative direction, and that's minus 8.7 pounds.